All right, take a look at this. This is the moment that Atlanta police say protesters threw Molotov cocktails at them. Just yesterday, groups demonstrated outside the city's proposed site for a new police training facility. Activists argue against cutting down the forest and adding more officers. They call the movement No Cop City, but officials tell us the protests have gone too far. And a local family agrees after just finding their home vandalized. Take a look. You can see graffiti spray painted all over that home. They talked exclusively to CBS 46's Sierra Cummings, who joins us live tonight from Dawsonville and Sierra. What have you learned? Well, check it out. We've got that ground view of the graffiti on the side of the home. Stop Cop City. Trees, not cops, save Atlanta Forest. Now, when the Underwood family came out in the morning to find this, they were confused and afraid. And it turns out this property here in Dawsonville used to be linked to one of the now reported contractors involved in the new Atlanta police precinct. My dog went he started barking about 2 a.m. in the morning. When the family dog seemed to be alerting the Underwoods, Joe went to look around his home, searching for signs of an attempted robbery. The dad says something far greater was stolen, feelings of security. It's kind of scary. I worry about my wife and my, my, my daughter. The phrase stop cop city or protect ATL force, it seemed foreign to them. It was CBS 46 news coverage Tuesday, which began to connect the dots. An hour away from Dawsonville, protests against the new Atlanta PD training facility. Its construction would replace parts of the forest. Activists argue more policing is not the answer, but neither is vandalism, says the father. We don't have anything to do with this, the forest and the cop city and this training facility they're building. The Underwoods found they are living in a home that once belonged to Dodds Drilling, a company reportedly involved in the city's project. Records show the family's home address is still linked to it. Dodd, Dodd Drilling is associated with this house. Uh, they always get their mail here, um, but they don't no longer own this house. Um, they, they sold it and we're renting the house from another company. After reaching out to CBS 46, they reached out to the Defend the Forest organization. This message appears to show the protest group acknowledging it's responsible, adding the Underwoods were wrongfully targeted, but the damage is already done. They, if they'll do that, what else will they do? If they'll drive over an hour to vandalize a house that they're capable of anything. There is a little fear there, um, but I, I, I will protect my family. Um, and use any force that is necessary to, to protect my family. And there are multiple investigations involving these protesters, and this extends across uh, various law enforcement agencies. We know from Atlanta police that there were a total of seven arrests yesterday, and they say none of these protesters were from in town. Now, the Dawson County Sheriff's Office has been doing more patrols after the family filed a police report this week. In Dawsonville, I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News. Thank you. Right.